Hello, it's Carrie Shearer, your social media, web video, and emergency communications trainer, public information officer, and supporter of all things communications and marketing, and it's great to have you here. Welcome back if you've been by the blog before, and if this is your first time, it's great to have you. As you may know, I love introducing my communications colleagues to commendable communicators around the country, and this episode is no exception. We're going to be talking with Lisa Janik Newman, and Lisa is with the Georgia Emergency Management Agency. Now, they've got a great education and outreach program there called Ready Georgia, and Lisa also is really the coordinator behind the development of the Ready Georgia app. I think that most of us in communications love the idea of having an app to serve our community, our region, our state, that can connect citizens, help them prepare for an emergency, and then keep them connected during a disaster with good emergency information that keeps them on top of what's going on and helps them take the actions that they need to take to keep themselves and their families safe. Well, Lisa and her team developed a great app called the Ready Georgia app. And I had the opportunity recently to meet Lisa and have her walk me through the different aspects of what the app does and better yet to talk about what it took to put this application together and the teamwork between GEMA and Georgia Public Health. I'm a, I've been with GEMA for 15 years so far. I started off as a publications person so they told me I would never have to do public speaking or speak to the media so they lied to me <laughs> so it was actually back in 2009 that we decided to launch our Ready Georgia campaign to get more Georgians prepared for a disaster and it started to grow ever since then in 2011 we launched our Ready Georgia app to put preparedness into the hands of Georgians our Ready Georgia app helps people stay informed, get prepared, and make a plan. All at their fingertips, they have all the information that they need. We developed this in partnership with the Georgia Department of Public Health. They used funding from a CDC grant that we used to create the app that's based on the Ready Georgia campaign. Our call to action for Ready Georgia is for people to go on and fill out a personal profile that will calculate all the supplies that their household needs to survive for at least three days. We also want to make sure that they have a plan. For people, if they have anyone in their household with medical needs, if they have any pets, we want to make sure that you have a plan for everyone in their house. So if you go on the Ready Georgia app, it'll, you can fill out your personal profile. If you have a change to it, you can make it on the website. It'll still appear in your personal profile. And during the disaster, you can pull it up. A lot of times people can't think in an emergency. You may forget your child's school information. You for, may forget your spouse's doctor's information. And all that information is right there at your fingertips. We are so happy that we worked with public health on this project. Without their support, this project wouldn't be here. They offered so many resources. So we have information about threats that may impact Georgia, natural disasters, as well as public health threats. So we want people to be aware. First thing we want to know is make sure they have a, w a way to get alerts so that wherever they are, they know what's going to impact them. So we have weather alerts. Public health can push out information about public health threats as well. And Secondly, we want to make sure they know what to do in a disaster and where to go. So we want to make sure that they know how to get to a shelter or what their hurricane evacuation routes are. All that information is on the app as well. And thirdly, we want to make sure that they also have a plan. So you want to have a way to communicate with your family in a disaster, and the app will prompt you to make a plan. Plus, it lists all of every tornado touchdown. We want to pe make people aware of their risks. So we want to list every tornado touchdown in Georgia. Tornadoes are the number one weather-related killer in Georgia. It'll let you know your flood risk as well. And it'll also keep you informed with every disaster that happened in your community. How we decided what would be in the app was we, um, it's all based on our re research. Every year we do research for Ready Georgia to find out why people aren't getting prepared, what their barriers are. People said, we want to be prepared. We don't know what we need in our ready kit. We don't know where to go in a disaster. So we took the research, and that's how we decided what features to include. We worked with Vert Technologies to build it. Um, they're a contractor. They build smartphone apps. They do this all day, every day. They built the Scout Mob app. We wanted to work with a company that knows how to take. We have a, it's 
This app is basically five government agencies in one. It's a lot of complicated information. They have designers who can take all this complicated information and whittle it down to bite-sized bits that the public will easily understand in a display, graphical display that they can easily understand as well. So this is an overview of everything that's included in the apps. Um, you can get, like I said, five government agencies in one. You can get weather alerts. You can make your plan. You can learn what threats you have. You can pull up your personal profile. It tells you what your traffic is like no matter where you are. Um, it also gives you local information so you can find your local emergency management agency director as well. We used to have, in this section, we used to have a, a threat of the day. We're trying to find a way to engage the public. Um, Angry Birds was already taken, so we, we had a disaster threat of the day. Um, but when we, re we redesigned and relaunched our app in, in 2014, and we decided to include traffic information, so people will want to use the app more frequently, make it more useful to people even when there's not a disaster. People can see congestion as well as incidents and other things that may impair traffic. So this is a Google map with a 511 overlay from the Georgia Department of Transportation. So you can see what's going on in real time. We now can send alerts right to your lo location. The National Weather Service can send you weather information. We also can send special messages. So if there's an evacuation or a public health threat, we can send information about where to go, what to do, right to your location, no matter where you are. We have an app portal that's web-based, so designated people can log on to it and enter in this information. We have the ability to send it out to Android users only, iPhone users only, um, or everybody. We can send messages to all Georgians throughout the state or by county. We always had the ability to have weather alerts on the app. What we've added is push alerts. So you'll now get an audio notification and a visual notification when there's alerts in your area. So you'll have the most current information so you can quickly take the proper action to save your life. We've been using it just this week in the winter storm. People were getting alerts for weather, for winter storm watches, warnings, and advisories. The public has been using it. We've had over 60,000 downloads, and these added features have really helped them out. Our shelter map is always very used in an emergency. When people want to know where they can go and be safe. The traffic has been an important feature. These improved weather features have really helped the public stay informed. And that's the, main, well, the most important message we can have to Georgians about severe weather is make sure you stay informed. Know when the weather's coming so you can take the proper actions to stay safe. So we've always had the ability to have the shelters available to the public. If they're traveling, they can see where to go on the road. However, previously we only had open Red Cross shelters. Now if warming centers open up, Good Samaritan shelters open up, we can put them in using the app portal. We can put them on the map. They'll appear as a green pin. The Red Cross shelters are a red pin. These will be green so people know where to go to get warm and stay safe in an emergency. Another new feature is once you click on the, the pin, an arrow will appear and you'll get turn-by-turn -turn directions from your current location to that warming center or shelter. The purpose of creating this app was to increase preparedness, but the most important thing we want to stress is be prepared. So before disaster strikes, you'll be ready. So you have the ability to go and create a personal profile that calculates all the supplies your household will need to survive for at least three days. If you have people with medical needs, you can put that information into the app. If you have pets, you can put that information into the app, and it will calculate a three-day supply of the, the supplies you need to stay safe. Some communicators who are seeing this are probably saying, wow, that is amazing. I'd love to have an app like that. What advice do you have for other communicators who might want to go down this road? I mean, how do you get started with developing? The first thing to do is decide what you want in the app. So we used our research to drive the content. So it's good to have an idea of what you should include in the app and also what, what is your purpose of the app? Or is it preparedness? Is it response? And include those features. Talk to your partners. See what resources they have to offer. Look at different funding sources. For us, we have creative funding with the CDC. Find out what funding streams are out there to help you. And we're always available for assistance. So really partnering with others. Don't, don't just go it alone. Right, right. You definitely need it, 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 the, a lot of partners to have an app like this, to have all the information people need. Did you go through a process then of kind of sitting down with your partners and figuring out, all right, what do we want this app to do? What's going to be the most valuable? How did you kind of triage that? Our research drove the content. So we wanted to have people break through those barriers of preventing them from being prepared and giving them the tools they need. So they didn't know what they needed. Here's a checklist for you. You don't know how long. Make sure you have a three-day supply of food. 
And public health was a wonderful partner because they could bring this perspective into it. They wanted to make sure people were healthy. So they'll be eating applesauce and whole grains in an emergency. If there's a public health threat, they want to get that information out to them. So they added a lot of value to the app as well. Great interview with Lisa and really, really interesting to find out about what it took to put an app like that together. Now, if perhaps this has sparked some interest on your part and you're interested in finding out a little bit more about uh, what it took to do this, Lisa has volunteered to be available if you'd like to give her a call. It's area code 404-635-7019 or you can email her at lisa.janik at gma.ga.gov. So I'd love to know if maybe this has gotten you thinking about doing an app or maybe you've already done an app. I'd love to hear your comments and your thoughts. If you would go ahead and put them in the box right below this video, that's where we can have a conversation on my blog page. If by chance you're watching this video directly off of YouTube, go ahead and look in the description there and there'll be a hot link right over to my blog at kerryshearer.com. That's where the conversation takes place on this. And until next time, have a great week and we'll talk to you soon.